guys and girls, and welcome to episode 56 of the F Reality Podcast. And this is a special edition of the show because we are here yeah. live at Oculus Connect 5. Together! We are. And actually together. Like, <laughs> this is actually a miracle that we're actually together because although we've been here for a full day yesterday, we still didn't actually get together in the four of us. <laughs> like, how, is this, how is this not possible? Literally minutes ago. Yeah. It's only when the podcast is happening that we suddenly get like attracted to this table. Yeah. Like, we need to we, do it we now. Can only pin us down to yes. this show. Otherwise, we, we, we're never we going to hang out. We have to make an appointment with the four of us to get us all at this table. Exactly. That is <laughs> exactly. True. But, you know, I'm pleased we're finally back together and, uh, you know, we're going to do this episode of the show. Of course, we're going to be talking about all the stuff from Oculus Connect 5, particularly about the Oculus Quest. Then we'll maybe talk about some games and some other stuff we've experienced here at the show. So uh, let's let's start off with the quest then, because it's the, the hottest thing about this show is why everyone was sort of hyped about it. Oculus were really pushing that more than anything else that they had to show at the show. So let's talk about that, because originally we talked about our predictions. I thought it was going to be called the Oculus Move. <laughs> All my predictions about the quest were pretty much wrong. It was freer freedom yeah. as well. O- Oculus Pops thing. Uh, do you guys have the same problem I have? My brain had Santa Cruz in it, and it has been replaced with, oh. with Oculus Mario Galaxy. For some <laughs> reason, no. because of the name wow. Quest, I have that problem. No other name? Like, do you have a problem with the name, like, sticking in your head, or are you just like, once it was in, you're in? No, I, I'm happy with the name. I, no, I, think, I like the name, yeah. but, but no, it doesn't associate trouble. with anything else. Yeah. No, 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 I don't know about oh. you guys. I, I, I thought it was like Oculus Neo. Yeah? I thought Neo? like something with Matrix, you know? I went with Mike Yaku's move. Move, yeah. I think I, move is it's, nice. It sounded pretty legit when you said it, and now it, it's just a joke for some reason. Oh, right. <laughs> it's weird. Like, first I was like, whoa, this oh, is like a legit oh, yeah, thing. Oh, yeah, cheers, man. And Thanks. now now it's like, I'm just, ah, whatever. Yeah. But I like the quest. I like quest. Yeah, quest, quest is yeah. a cool it's name. Like the quest. It's gaming. The quest. The quest. It's, it's, it's and that's Venture. Kind of yeah. Epic journey into the metaphors the yeah. matrix i'm just glad they didn't go for oculus freedom because if they did oculus i was freedom. like europe would just divest America. itself from oculus's vr headset that sounds like a very american oculus thing, like, America. Oculus freedom. <clears throat> yeah. okay so let's talk about specs because what we do know about this headset is uh you know it's it's the official name for the Ocul- uh, oculus santa cruz prototype it's got six degrees of head tracking six degrees of freedom controllers you've got two of them just like oculus touch and if you guys have used it right so you guys feel like it's comparable with the touch controllers, like it feels the same way? Um, no, I wouldn't say they feel the same way. Since you also have like grip buttons, yeah, it's very different. And but the, the, the touch have grips as well. Yeah, yeah, but I mean not like the like the, like the clicky ones. Like it, They do click, but not like these feel like a little bit like more like most of already the clicked in. Like, I don't know, like they felt like a bit like oh, they're, easier they're, to click. It doesn't have a, a, as much like, travel, yeah, you mean? Yeah. Right, yeah. right, right. Because oh, the, right. the controllers are smaller. They are uh, smaller. Well, he's right, yeah, that, that, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Because the actual circle on it, like it's, one guy with fat hands, he, he like put his hands, he's like, this is not comfortable it, for me. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, these are like literally, like they're like 30% <laughs> of the volume is gone. And yeah. Is the placement the same as the touch controllers? Pretty much the identical. Because like, I had the feeling that when I, I grabbed them, I was immediately uh, yeah. gripping the cheek. Grab them, grab them. <laughs> uh, I was immediately pressing like those buttons already. Yeah, I had the feeling. But I mean, um, okay. It, it reminded me a bit of like an inverted, uh, little baby touch control. Yeah. But, but my reaction to like the analog sticks was, thank you, Lord. Like, yes. I did not want a trackpad on that thing. And they, yes. when they, they're like, we were listening. Yeah. We listened. We listened. We put it in. You know, I saw the little silhouette of the little like analog yeah, thumbstick, yeah. and that was like my baby Jesus. Yeah, I'm really <laughs> pleased they went with the thumbstick. Yeah, I think we all agree here that the thumbstick's the better solution. Uh, but the thumbstick is it, it, actually smaller as well. It's, yeah. It feels tiny. Yeah, it doesn't have the same kind of like crust gathering no. node. No, the crust gathering node. I love yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, no, you're right. You're right. But uh, also, like you said, you made a good point about if you've got like really big hands, you might struggle with it. Because I've got like baby hands, so uh, hands. you know they fit my hands fine. Oh wait, wait, we can do this hand comparison. Uh, I got oh, very yeah. small hands. I got. Very you are smaller. Hands. Well, that I have very small hands too. <laughs> this, this, what are we is, doing here? This is so exciting no, for the audio close. listeners. <laughs> you know, pretty close. Yeah. Um, so yeah, mine's that was, bigger. Mine's man, bigger. It would be fun <laughs> if they. Uh, it would be fun if they announced like sizes layers like like uh, XXL and, and, and S and M like medium size like S and M size. I'm up for that. S and yeah. M. Oh my god. Okay. So they're the, <laughs> so the controllers. So and they're, they're they're cool and they work. Yeah. What they we work. also know is that it's coming out in spring, so likely March, April next year. It's going to be 399 US dollars, which blew me away because I was like, I was like 599 is going to be the price because of all the, the technology yeah. that's in it. But 399 that makes it accessible because there's so many people, so many people, and it competes with console. It does, it does. And I think you, you're right. If I, if I'm like a 
14, 15 year old kid and I, I, want, I want to buy, like get a new console for Christmas, yeah. like do I get the Xbox, do I get the PlayStation, yeah. or do I get like a Quest? Or a Mario Galaxy. They, they, they ruled out the... So I'm telling you it's in my brain. It is. Because they ruled out the PC completely with this one. Huh? Exactly. Yeah. That's right. And that's, and that's an important thing to know. You don't need a PC to run this yeah. device. And it's going to be a comparable VR experience to what we're experiencing with and, the Rift with and, a PC. And that marketing like text goes hand in hand with what we've kind of experienced. I mean, I, yeah. I'm impressed at how it performs. But like you with Price, yeah. I, I was so confused going in on Price because I was like, maybe six, maybe five, maybe three. I don't actually know what Price point Because basically, if you think about it, it's a go with some... Bejazzling, yeah, yeah. Jungle, yeah, you know, yeah. I mean, bejazzling. I didn't say bejazzling. <laughs> you yeah. put that word. In my yeah, mouth. I did. So. And it's like three ninety nine for sixty four gigabytes. Like the ones they show here are sixty four yeah. gigabytes. They might like release some extra ones with like more uh, gigabytes. Who knows? Mm. Um, so I yeah. think that's a fair prediction because. You're not going to say 64 if it's only one size. It's just like, it is what it is, you know? Yeah, that is true. But I mean, with the GOAT, they also sold like two. The 32. And yeah. I, I'm surprised we didn't see a price suppression on the other products. You know, no, I was, I was like, really like a big discount. No, the GOAT right. to be 100 and the Rift to be yeah. like 350. Because 350, they keep yeah. suppressing it at holidays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm, what I'm thinking is they're saving that for Christmas. I think they will. Like they always, in summer and Christmas, they always like discount it so crazily. Mm. I hope the Go will like go lower in price because that's like something like a hot game. It's good. I mean, the best thing, I think you were on a plane with internet, weren't yeah. you coming over here? You, you technically could play with the you Go. You could play, like that's I'm awesome. hoping on the flight home, I get to play Poker VR on the way yes. back. It's like, I'm going to just have three hours yeah, yeah, yeah. and like literally you'll be talking to somebody on the table. Yeah, You'd be like, I'm at 10,000. No, I'm at 34,000 feet now. Oh, that's and so they're weird. like, no, you're not. Man, yeah, I'm up here. That is so weird. And, yeah. and that's the thing, like you know, the Go is very much like a media consumption device, right? Oh, and and, and ga so gamer light device. It is a really good device for media. Yeah, and I agree. And you know, Rift is like really high end enthusiast level, but I think the Quest has a really nice spot just for gamers. It's just built for gamers, and I think that's what the really cool thing about it, right? Yeah, yeah. It's just the six is a premium controller that does that. Absolutely, like, uh, absolutely. I still see the the Go is like more of like a like a media. Device, like yeah. you know, cinema, movies, you know, social experiences, that kind of stuff. Yeah. But with the quest, you can really like go like hardcore. I mean, we've done it here. Like, yeah. We're gonna talk about it soon. But like, but yeah. the coolest thing is that you now can have like a, a mirror on your mobile phone or your tablet where you can see into a Bartle and see oh. people play with the quest. So Casting. let's say you have a, a family and one wears the quest, the rest can see what they are playing <laughs> through a mobile phone. Yeah. So like people that do not own a headset or can't wear it at that moment can just join along. And vicariously can be, can be enjoy on the quest. The quest, the with quest you. exactly. That's why it's called like that. Yeah. <laughs> so let's talk yeah. about some games because they, they've announced some launch games for the quest. They've launched they're gonna have Robo Recall, The Climb, oh. Moss, Dead and Buried. Tennis, I don't know what the tennis game's called. Uh, <laughs> super hot and face your fears too. Uh, tennis smash, no, scramble. scramble. Oh, project tennis. <laughs> scramble. It. It's, like, it's like tennis, but mixed with all kinds of sports. It's not really yeah. tennis, it's like everything. Like the, like Every the Jason sport. Rubin sport. Jason Rubin is in the tennis game. He's actually in it. His I, I approve. That's why I want to have it. I had away. to tweet it. That I was, was like, hilarious. that is the weird. He's, his face is on this metal <laughs> sphere. It's like with bounce. arms. Yeah. Like, it's like. What? Who thought about this in the middle of a crazy? It's a crazy game. It's a tennis game. That's but you, not actually tennis. But like, you, you know, we were playing it together, right? And then you would hit like a, a, a spot in the middle only because I won. And yeah. You, you were telling me because like beforehand. Of a, American what, football. What, what a, a tennis champ. I am were. a tennis champ. <laughs> I was like, yeah, nailed it. Um, <laughs> I'm not. A, I'm not an American football golfing. Well, that's you know, the thing. Like, what the <laughs> hell's going on? Yeah. So like, that's the thing. Like, you hit these like uh, modifiers in the middle of the uh, of the net. Nice work. And then um, it changed is like your your racket to so like a, a golf club <laughs> or uh, a cricket bat or something like that. Wait, so, so this it, is it like really Mario. Is this is like Mario Tennis VR. Yeah, yeah. is it Mario Party Tennis VR? It felt Mario like Party it felt like Wii VR. Sports, like Wii Sports, but in yes. VR, like that kind of accessibility, no buttons to push. You just swing your arms and you're in the game. So your grandma can. But I, I do like it that Jason. House. I do like that Jason Rubin is not a DLC, but like straight into the game. <laughs> yeah. you don't have the, to the, buy the, him as an the extra. The Rubin DLC. That's what they should have done. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but like, but let's talk about the biggest game because like the they, biggest There's some really cool games, but most of which we've experienced on the Rift already right they're kind of that is true they're, yeah. they're, they're mobile versions of rift games but yeah. the big one that we got to hear was star wars right like that was the the, the killer for me at the yeah, show very like, good. i was just not like, for me yeah same as here yeah. i'm not i mean i like star wars yeah i would say the unveiling was epic because let me just say one thing 
whoever graphic designer out there designed the like the logo yeah it, they did such a good job oh, just yeah. the logo i'm like you know i want to play that <laughs> but like, the iconic sounds from the movies as well like that kind of siren in the background uh, as it was going into like the hangar no no, no oh, was... i got me hyped but i i wanted an x-wing game or a pod a pod fighter game. but we don't know anything about this game like we, it could have elements of that vader right? on pod racer <laughs> <laughs> that's, yeah. that's exactly the reason pod racer with vader <laughs> They show like a trend is like a total different thing, and then it's suddenly it's a pod racer. Vader pod racer VR coming to you soon. That, that is exactly the reason why I'm like not that hyped about it yet because I don't really know what it's what it's going oh, to be. Oh, you want about. a pod race too? No, I, I want to know what Vader Immortal is. The thing that I'm really yeah. hyped about is Lone Echo Two. Yes, yeah, frankly, that is an amazing. The I logo they have a is record. the you know what to expect. They showed Lone Echo, and I was like. Is that meant to be Lone Echo 2? Because that doesn't really look like a 2. It, it sounds like it tilted it too far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I'm bad. sorry, but they get a slap on the wrist from me for that graphic designer. They went two to 10 degrees too far. But I am a super, like you, Lone Echo was such a great experience. So you weren't that much excited about the the quest lineup? You were more excited about Rift? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. Because, like, you know, they, they said they're going to have 50 titles at launch, yeah. which is decent, I think. Especially if they do, they push this like yeah. Star Wars game as like one of their exclusive titles, because I think it's gonna they're gonna upset Rift owners because they're gonna segregate them a little bit. Yeah. Because I don't think this game's gonna come to Rift. I think Rowdy's right. Like there are not that many killer titles that they showed up, but it's not out yet, so they have more time. Yeah. But they like need they, they, they need, need have been more, more unique stuff. I think they should really play. Like I played Super Hot, <coughs> and they use like a, a warehouse skill there, and they play with that as you said with Unseen, you know where. The, the, the corners the change. If they use yeah. that concept in almost every game in like a, a small space, that's gonna be great. That's it's unique for breaking, that. Right? Exactly. So like what I said to Nate before he did the super hot just, just running behind us, unseen diplomacy forced you to like yes. get yes. down on your knees, like unscrew a vent, go out on like a yeah, ledge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and in the beginning of Super Hot, the first thing is right, you're used to being somewhat spatially aware. So you don the headset and you're like, I'm in a glass box. Can I really trust to like, I was like walking, you know, like with the way one foot first, like nice right. and slow, Careful. just in case. Because you know that the person who's attending to you is just like there on their phone or whatever, and they're just going to go right through the glass pane. <laughs> but I'm really surprised at how well it, it, it actually worked with Super Hot. It was almost a flawless experience. And from what I hear, they patched this game like after the deadline yeah. for submitting the app to yeah. actually be on the floor. Oh, and they, yeah. they only took them a couple of weeks and they just yeah. boom, had it. And I think that's the thing, like, you know, it, it is the Rift version of the game. You know, yeah. it, it's got some extra room scale yeah. elements. Yeah, you're the API ported. It's I a think. pretty yeah, big yeah. space. If they launch this game this way, I think people are going to have a problem. It's like, oh, there's a door there. Maybe I should just <laughs> get rid of this door and this wall. Maybe I should break it down because I can play the game there now. People are going to be making they're, holes in their houses. Gonna, yeah. Rowdy, you need to construct so your house again. He just constructs his house with walls. You need to break them down or, again. Or even better, play it outside. Well, that's what I want to know. Yes. Can you play this thing outside? We don't know that because, like, from what we understand, it uses the floor and the walls to track yeah. your environment potentially. So, if you just have a yeah. wide open space, how that's going to work? But other know. headsets can do it. The Pico Neo and stuff. Yeah, they, can, people, they can achieve it. People tried it with mixed reality ones, but it wasn't. It was very hard because mm. it needs to look very far into the distance. If it can look far in the distance, it can work. I think what we need to do is when it comes out, Rowdy needs to go to his local park and just like start like, like throwing shapes in the park like a crazy man. <laughs> run. Just and just film people's yeah, reactions run. of you like doing it but let me say this okay they already had a product named oculus go they've now got an oculus quest if that doesn't fucking say get outside and do something <laughs> then i'm just gonna say this like it's gonna cost them like 50 pence or 50 cents to 3d print a lens cover you know oh yeah like yeah, so yeah, you can yeah, actually yeah, yeah. take it outside and protect it right like, and you should probably explain why because you had issues right i had issues <laughs> like 90 seconds outdoors with the unit yeah. horizontal and i've heard other uh, complaints on the floor from other yeah. Go owners. Even yeah. even Similar. Carmack said it in the keynote. Even Carmack like, was tearing it up. Yeah. Like and yeah. and they know it's a problem. I'm right. just saying, like just patch it into your lineup. Like just fix that problem there and fix it for the quest because I ain't going on a quest outside again yeah. until they fix that. Something yeah. I also need to say is when I played Super Hot, I did have some tracking issues sometimes where I couldn't see one of my hands and then I was shaking it again. It was coming back. It could be that it's because the lighting here is pretty strong. It could be because they are, you know, they need to run all day these these quests. So, like, usually headsets are not very good in in the long run of like 
uh, having to run all day. Um, so it could be that it's just a problem here, but it could also be that problem I, I also noticed with like mixed reality headsets, where you sometimes like, where's my controller? Come back here. You know? mm. It, it didn't float away, it just disappeared. Uh, for me it did, like, you know, when I tried like uh, Dead and Buried on the Quest, like the controller sometimes, like it's like, especially because you hold it close to the camera, so I think you occlude it. Yeah. And then it like, it starts like floating away yeah. like a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. But of course, I mean, this is like a showroom. It's yeah. not an ideal no. environment. You have no. lighting, lighting that is changing. I mean, there's still have six months to like, it's, it's and that was an experimental, I mean, let's touch on Dead and Buried for a moment, because you were asking a moment ago about software, yep. you know, and like, well, you're interested in software-wise. My excitement in this was just specifically, like, I knew it was coming, kind of. I didn't know the price, I didn't know how long it was going to last, and what storage it had. But having played Dead and Buried, definitely top five VR experiences I've had in my life. I mean, it's Agreed. like doing paintball in a warehouse with boxes. Rowdy and I were, like, shoulder-to-shouldering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The thing I wanted to just, like, say is, that's just an experiment. It's yeah. not like something that they're even planning to, to no. roll out. But, but it shows potential. Think, the potential is incredible. Yes. I mean, the thing that struck me the most after having done HoloLens, you know, I haven't tried Magic Leap myself, but the issue is compositing. Yeah. The contrast, when we went from this kind of pasty white like sketch outline, which is like the, the global yeah. sweeper, and you can see it scanning yeah. in kind yeah. of a they funny way. They very smart as well. The way it switches into a character, like I looked into Rowdy's eyes, yeah. you know, just like in that scene in The Matrix, I looked into Rowdy's eyes, Lovingly. and all of a sudden, <laughs> He switched into this like hot oh, yeah, babe yeah, with yeah, pistols, yeah, yeah. and oh, I was yeah. like, I'm it's in like, love. Even better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, exactly. I'm just really curious what games are gonna make for people with like a two by two or three by three play space. You know? <laughs> for me, I cheated. I have less than min spec. Oh yeah, of course, yeah. yeah. And that's exactly what you were saying. Like, you know, people are gonna be smashing up their house more than ever, like with this device. But I think they're gonna be having the best time doing it. You know, they're gonna be okay with it. Yeah. May we please spend a moment for our Russian friend who fell yeah. through a glass table? <laughs> also, for the people that know, don't know, like Dead and Buried over here, they have like a, a warehouse scale thing they have like obstacles everywhere yeah. and they are rendered in the virtual world too so you can hide behind them you can feel them too and uh, like that that's something i'm very curious of like if there's a developer who's going to build a game where you can like uh, grab own objects and then just place them within your room and then build something yourself and then play in that with maybe a little paintball game maybe where you can do a little easter egg hunt things like that that would be so nice but just for arcades you know like exactly. oh yeah arcades the, the, exactly the potential it has like it cuts, so, it, so it much cuts cheaper out, dude it cuts out the price entirely oh, yeah. for like the laptop you don't need the backpack anymore you can just it's it's amazing because I know I'm going to have a, we have a few of those and they, they actually use like the big backpacks right. and like the laptops in there and the void does it as well. I'm not I'm not comparing it to the void now because it stands on its own, but just removing that from it <laughs> and having that only, only the headset on there and nothing yeah. else. It's such amazing. A you know, I immediately think of like I could be on the beach in Normandy being a medic. Like I could be medic VR and I can go like fix dudes up and run over here, run yeah. over there, and like some guy's screaming for his mama, yeah. and you're like, oh, I'm gonna get the intestines yeah, really, back really, in and sew them up, and then you know. But that's so what kind of game do you wanna play, dude. <laughs> I can't think I just described it, Mike. Yeah, but as an arcade, you only need like a big room, and then you're on the beach, and then suddenly you're in a bunker. They yeah. can constantly turn the level around, well, and it feels like it's super big. Well, it's not. Yeah. And that's great about like the quest. It, yeah, that, it looks that, bigger than it really is. Also, that trick that they do, they, they, they've proven that it's easy with humans. You can show the geometry of a room and trick you as if I'm walking in a straight line or yeah. maybe I'm taking a right turn, but actually you're going in circles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they can do that. that yeah. this, this is going I to think that's, the, that that's the main power of the quest. Like it, it, it feels like it's bigger, but it's not really that big. Like your space, you're playing. I'm really glad for this podcast we got together. I'm feeling the vibe of energy off of all you all like excited little yeah. kids. Like, give me a quest. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I can't wait to like get my hands on it at home for sure. Hey, Elena, if you're watching, you know, uh, swear no, no. back with a quest, please. I'm not, like, She's guys, I'm, I'm not joking. I need to. I need to <laughs> oh, yeah, talk to us about this because the <laughs> Elena, I bet. Can we have a quest, <laughs> please? Can we have a free one? Can we have it now? But really, in the swag bag. The. Uh, <laughs> The developers, like developers have already last night coming up to me and they're like, do you guys get, do you guys get early equipment? Because I've got a build, I want you to yeah, test yeah, it yeah, 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 yeah. so that, you know, we can get that feedback now. Yeah. And they're like, ASAP, I want that feedback because we're on the clock, right? Yeah. We're going to release in six months. True. Yeah. Yeah, so it's anyway, a really good point. But I think there. I think Rowdy made a, a fantastic point about VR arcades because you know we know in China that VR arcades are really pushing the VR industry over there. We know that we know that from Alvin Graylin, uh, yes. who we spoke to recently. But what you know with the with the Vive and the Vive Pro with a wireless adapter, that's like what fourteen hundred bucks. You can get like three, four quests for that price, and yeah. and have your arcade set up in like no time with minimal 
outlay in terms of hardware. Yeah, yeah, and also maintenance. Maintenance cost goes way down. Super cheap. Way down. Super and cheap. I also think that if Oculus are smart, they make like special arcade licenses. Yeah. So that like yeah. this business can get access to like special yeah. support, special kind of like games or stuff like that. Yeah. So that so makes it, it much easier for them to Yeah, like, if you're a VR arcade owner or you're a potential owner of a VR arcade, you need to check out this device and have this on your wish list like yeah. straight away. Straight it's, away. It's also made to be social, so you can play together in one room. Like that apparently showed that it apparently works to see other people and not bump into them in, in a way. Yeah, I did see a video of Viper where he was running through the dead and buried like yeah. warehouse like, like a man. <laughs> like, oh, look at me, I can just run everywhere. He's even rolling over the floor. He was. Him, Stop doing that. You can do back flips now. You can do yeah. front flips. You can do all kinds of... You're free. <laughs> free to go on your quest. They, they need yes. to have like a special queue just for Viper. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Every other normal person here. And you like take him to like a safe unit. They like yeah. shackle his arms. Like, imagine, oh, imagine. This guy like, again. Oh, yeah. Imagine like playing dead and buried. You're just like casually shooting. And then you see like guy like... Ah, like that, that was like so funny. Yeah. But that, so that was so, have we all done Dead and Buried at this point? Yes. No, not yet. Oh, oh, oh no. Nathan. We gotta play it. Yes. We gotta team up. We're gonna beat their asses. Wow. Okay. But let's talk about um, the Facial Fears experience oh. real quick. Because me and you tried it together at the same oh, no. time. And like... But we were men. We were men. Well, this is the thing. Like you said, you were gonna be a man about it, but like there was some, there was some shrieks coming from that room, like serious shrieks. And I was the same. And I, I you were what? Oh, you were like you danced like a little girl. You're like, oh, oh. And not, like Great. not spoiling anything, but there's spiders in it. Like and, and like. Oh yeah, that's oh, only no. like half the game. No, no, no. But, like there's there's spiders in it. And, and for those of you that are, like follow my channel, you'll know I freaking hate spiders. And I, I was just losing my mind in that thing. I'm gonna whisper. Attack of the bugs. Oh, I just make oh, my no, skin no, crawl. No, 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 but it was a great experience, and I wasn't expecting like a facial fears too. Um, yeah, I didn't even know that they were gonna be <laughs> here. No, it wasn't announced like, uh, during two. the keynote, so it was a surprise one. But I'm pleasantly surprised. They've about stepped it. it up. Stepped it you up move. a lot. Room scale experience yeah. now. Yeah. In facial fears. And so. The way they did it up here as well was really nice. It was the, the full like Halloween cobweb thing. Exactly. Yeah. It was nice. Yeah. yeah. It got you in the mood, and there was kind of a smell in the air as well. I, I don't know. That was my that fear. Was <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It was, it was literally like being in a maternity ward as a, as a proud father. I know what that's like, like you hear screams down the corridor and stuff. But they've got about 16 booths and all you're hearing is different people screaming. Even when I was in the Carmack thing, you could hear people screaming and I was like, what's going on? It's like, there's yeah. something happening outside. Oh, it's just face And then you, you hear Zim go like, aww. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You have a little hug afterwards, you know, after you've worked it out. So uh, yeah, we got to try loads of stuff. Uh, let's talk about specs, because we know the optics are very similar looking to the Go, right? When you look at the device, they look almost identical I to the lenses. I couldn't tell the difference. Exactly. No. But now, you know, thankfully we've got adjustable IPD. Oh. So, you know, you can accommodate uh, a wider range of IPDs, because I know some people struggle with the Go being uh, fixed, fixed IPD. You were one of them, right, Rowdy? Um, in terms of resolution, we know that it's, um, it's actually higher resolution than the Go, so this is, the Quest is actually the highest resolution Ox Oculus headset that you can buy. Yeah. Nope. You know, so you know you. I didn't know that. I thought it was the same resolution. No, no, it, it's so high, high, higher resolution than the Go, uh, very marginally, but like. Well, uh, just, okay. But yeah, but it's actually going to be. If you, like, as I said before to you, if you jump from a rift to this, you're going to notice see the difference. Yeah, yeah. screen oh, door yeah, effect definitely. is reduced definitely. and definitely. resolution yeah. is nice. And the experience is comparable. So yeah. I just wanted for people to like look at the Go and go budget headset, well, best screen of any headset I own. Yeah, yeah. so clear. Yeah, so clear. and this is no different. Yeah, I did find some of them maybe were running below uh, base specification. Like I did get a little bit of a feeling like yeah. what well, the, the frame rate was dripping. Not the frame rate, but more the resolution. You know when something's been scaled and it's got a slight. It's like less uh, sharp. Right, it's got uh, slight blur to it. I got that in a couple of the experiences. Yeah. So, so how I, many I, I do you see them all like in a different one? Because I know that Oculus in the keynote like introduced like the Go as like the introduction to VR. I don't yeah. really see it that way. Although it is an introductory device. Yeah, yeah but price. I see. I, I I can see myself combining a Go with an Oculus Rift perfectly. You know, using one for media or like on the go. Yeah. Know? And one for like my, my hardcore VR experiences. Yeah. Well, I find now the Quest for like you know I you know it's it's gonna be like my my go to device. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I wouldn't use the Quest now really as like a media device. I still I still think that the Go is like you know that kind of like function of like functioning as a media device. Yeah, and I think because the Go like is way more portable as well because the Quest has yeah. got this hard strap at the back that yeah. you you can't fold up like you can with the Go and make it so compact to fit in your luggage on a plane. Yeah. I don't think you're gonna be taking your Quest on a plane anytime soon. <laughs> Punching oh, around the passengers. You wait, 
super hot. You wait. Yeah, maybe we should demo that. We should try that maybe. <laughs> we, we we built you like like a uh, a escape room from from like the entrance of the airport to the terminal. <laughs> yeah, that would be it's true. Like you need to get there in time. Yeah. Don't even start. <laughs> Don't even start. You know how much running through airports have done this trip. Oh, you've had a you've had a real sort of. <laughs> so how many hertz is it? So I think uh, from what we understand, it runs at seventy two hertz, yeah. just like the Go does. Because uh, pretty much it's like a beefed up Go at heart, right? So you've got the Go, uh, it uses an Android platform, and this is basically just a beefed up version with a higher spec processor and this like extra technology called Oculus Insight, which they used for the tracking, uh, head tracking and controllers. Um, but yeah, I thought, I thought it, overall, happy with it, yeah? Oh, very good. Very happy with it. Yeah, yeah. So okay, so we've talked about uh, Go, we've talked about Quest. Let's talk about Rift and sort of wrap this one up a little bit. And the Go, a little bit. Yeah, we talked about Go a little bit. Well, let's talk about the Go just before we start on the Rift then, because there was a couple of titles uh, that we know about that are coming to Go soon. Once the, one that was mentioned in the keynote, which was Covert, which I managed to play in London. We've talked about it on the show before. See There's also a demo of it right below us right now. So, Is there? Uh, yeah. yeah. We're sitting another. right above the, the, the Go booth. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like ticking down. I'm supposed to go this void thing, but I might stick it out. I don't know. Yeah, because like, you know, it's a asynchronous VR it's experience. Really cool. One person's got a tablet, one person's got a go on, yeah, and you basically work together to do a heist. I, I totally cool. played that with my wife. Very cool. I, I tried it and I think it's really great and I think it's going to be a really fun game yeah. to play. But, but that was the only game they really showed off uh, at the opening. Yes. And I, as I said before, I still want to see more go games. Yes. It's like, yes, you have the quest now, but please, like, keep it balanced between all the platforms, I'm you know? Bit, I'm a bit more, like, you know, I would rather see it on the quest more developed. Yeah. And keeping the go as like a media device for me personally. Yeah. I'm, I'm, no, no, no. I can assume that other people that only have a Go would like to see more games on the Go, but yeah. for me, more on the Quest. That's, and, um, that's the no, recommendation I, 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 now. Yeah. Right? I agree, that's... but even in the social space, there is a lot you can do with this yeah, Go. Yeah. I feel like they, they could do more with that. Oh, but in social space, definitely. I still yeah. think it's the most social one of the whole. Yeah. Yeah. But, but like Quest, it is the, the pipeline is really interesting because like you've got a Rift title. I need to bolt something on in order to make it Quest compatible. Yeah. If, you, if, you, if you develop for Quest, you know, all you're doing is you're like, I'll take that away for Rift. I'll take these two things away for Go. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, sorry, audio yeah, listeners, yeah. I'm signaling with my hands, and you can't see that. Imagine a dwindling set of requirements. <laughs> yeah. As you step down, request. Also, did you guys see Rowdy in the, you know, in the commercial? Well, you so were in the commercial. Was also, but Rowdy was in 50%. the commercial. Next year, Mike, we're gonna yeah. do it. We're, we're, yeah. That's that's our goals, right? That's our Next goal. year, Squad yeah. goals. Yeah. And, 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 and Tyrael, who's like, uh, uh, like you know, standing cameraman, his girlfriend. Was can we do? Around. Can we do a cameo here? Yeah. We're gonna do a camera cameo. Come and say hello. Come and say hello. Hey. Yeah. Cameo the other guys. Yeah, like his his girlfriend was in the in the show as well, right? What? Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, she was on there. Yeah. What he color, wasn't on there. What color hair? <laughs> yeah, but his girlfriend was, and we so saw we saw Remarcus as well. Uh, you know, using yeah. his, his go on a plane. Yeah, uh, oh, right. yeah so that him. was cool that you know you got a little spot in there as well. Yeah, so it's nice, nice to see uh, everyone being a part of it. Okay, so um, we talked about Quest. We talked about Go. Yeah. Let's round it up with Rift because we didn't get any Rift 2.0 stuff. So sorry, people out there, because I know that's what a lot of people were really looking forward to. Uh, but we did get some games. Well, I say some, we got one game. <laughs> <laughs> one. We, we, we already knew about Stormland, uh, we already knew about Vox Machina, yep. uh, we already knew about Defector, but the, the one that they really announced was Lone Echo 2, right? It's a big title though. It's like, a huge title. It's I'm huge so title. happy about it. I really am. I'm so happy that they... He was a huge fan of the original, yeah, right? I mean, Remember that we yeah. that uh, you we did like a nomination of like what the best VR game was. You said Resident Evil, and I said you know for me it's Lone Echo because yeah. they have like an Echo Arena, they have Lone Echo, the story. Storyline. Was it? It wasn't best game. It was what game was going to win at the awards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Because that's, that's true, different. That's true. No. But, I knew okay, that. Okay. I knew. Okay. I knew. Oh, I knew. Sorry. PSVR I'm was I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool in a mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but that's. I just want to be so focused because it's a great game. Yeah, I, I, I did amazing. a full playthrough of that game as well, and like uh, the story in that game is just amazing. You know? Yeah, like it's so well written. It feels yeah. like you're you're playing in a movie. Yeah, and, and and the same cast of characters are back. You know, Olivia Rhodes, the captain. You've then got Jack back. You know, the, the robot that you played in the first game. Uh, and they're like on a whole new story now that, yeah. that clearly takes place after the original game. 
So and it looks like it's a trebled mission. Like, oh yeah, for it sure. It looks like the look in her, the character's yeah. eyes, like yeah. Lydia, psychology one on one there. Yeah. Straight away, you just see like panic yeah. and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Like something's yeah. not right, and that immediately makes me want to play it. And something's yeah. happened to Jack as well because she was actually rebuilding parts of him on the table. I noticed something during oh, yeah. the trailer. I know. So, I noticed something in the trailer. In the top, it said Atlas, and then like something like something written. I like couldn't record it. But yeah. Atlas was like the uh, the other AI in the in the in the game. Right. Uh oh. And, and she, she like, said something like, "We need to keep the fact that yeah, you're back online right a secret." Man. Yeah, it's so. so I was like, eh, there's something, there's something weird going yeah, on. Yeah, for sure. So, so after they announced the new uh, chapter of Lone Echo, I was like, "Where's the respawn entertainment stuff? Yes. Where is it? Yes. Where, where, where like, show us." Yeah, I, I, I was. I thought that was going to be almost yeah. guaranteed because they teased it last year. It would be a perfect opportunity mm. now to say, "This is what the game is going to be called. This is what it's all about. It's coming out next year, summer yeah. maybe." Uh, but we didn't hear anything. No. Uh, it really felt like Rift uh, and Go took a back burner this this show, yeah. and Quest was really like. What they, they were I still really feel like it's gonna be some kind of mech thing because they made Titanfall. I feel like they could just reuse that and. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't yeah. know about you guys. Any like funny predictions again? For I, I I think they're gonna the go future. World War Two. World, World War Two. Yeah. World War Two. I have no idea. Pop pop stick simulator. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I don't know. It'll probably do something repetuous. Very repetuous. <laughs> okay, we, we had all the words yeah. now. Okay, so let's round it Did up. Did I already then. mention Jumanji, by the way? Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> and, the, and the Halo game? Okay. <laughs> okay, that's enough. So and Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh no. We're trying to get all the okay. games in. No, 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 sorry. I'm just going to fuck. No, we're fine. Okay, okay. okay. so let, let's, let, let's round it on. Uh, sure. Round it up with just like <laughs> your best experience that you've tried at the event, full stop so far. Uh, so Easy. Dead and buried. Dead and, and buried? I, 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 I only played Super Hot so far, so Super Hot. Okay, mine was Dead and Buried as well. Yeah, that's Ooh. too easy. So I'm going to take a different one. Defector. Ooh. Oh, nice. Okay, good choice. Ooh. Because it was like a roguelike demo experience. I nearly died. Yeah. No, no, like, you like you jump to a plane, and then you're like oh, yeah. grabbing like in the climb, you're like yeah. grabbing little pieces of metal, oh, yeah, that's high. and they're pulling off. Oh, dude, that's And then so I high. fell and I died, and I'm like, <laughs> past the guy, I'm like, hey, can I have another go? And he's like, no, no, you're, you're dead. What? what? And I was like... That was just a roguelike I... demo experience. I was like, oh my god, that is so cool. <laughs> that is amazing. And it's like, go to the back of the queue if you want to ride again, boy. Wow. wow. I love that. Wow. And they should do that all the time. Wow. I know you guys would probably be no, like, no, 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 no. Well, hang that, on. That makes the experience even more intense. I love that. You yeah. know I'm like that. Like with Subnautica, I still haven't died. Yeah. Okay, so, so tip, if you go to Oculus Connect, don't die. <laughs> don't die. Yeah. So, that's it. That's all so, you need to know. So one last thing. Like, so we, we've had our best experience at the show. What are you most looking forward to coming up? Next, so in terms of like, is it the quest or is it a game or is it what is it? What lone echo to you? Okay, I'll say it again. Wow, you're repetuous. <laughs> you're so repetuous, Rowdy. <laughs> Go on, Nathan. What is it? For for like next year for 2019. Yeah, what are you looking forward to the most? Flying cars. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. it's helicopters. Nailed it. Yeah, so I, I'm definitely hyped about the quest. For me, I think yeah. uh, I'm really looking forward to getting hands on with it, making content with it. Oh, fingers yes. crossed. Hopefully, we need... it will work. Yeah, let's hope so. Let's hope. Oculus, if you're watching, please. Please make it possible to make for us to make videos with this thing. I'm gonna I win this one, lads. Go By on. default. Casting. Yes. <laughs> yes. But the ability it, to cast. But is... will it include the audio? We don't know that. Yeah. That's the problem. You can make the audio yourself, down. like you can do the sound effects. Yeah, tin whistle, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Job done. Okay, so this has been a, a special episode of the F Reality Podcast. Here live at Oculus Connect 5 with us all together in Epic. real life. Epic. 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 So uh, I'm really happy that we got together when we were able to do this special episode of the, the podcast. I hope you guys and girls enjoyed this one. Uh, we'll have this online, uh, you know, as soon as possible, and we'll have the audio oh, yeah. version up as well. But we'll we what, probably we don't know what we're doing with the next episode of the show on Saturday or not. We'll keep you posted on our social media, so follow us on Facebook, Twitter, uh -huh. uh, and everywhere else. And just make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. And, and the times are. Uh, so it's live stream 7 p.m. in Europe, 6 p.m. in the UK, and 12 midday in Central Europe. <laughs> Bam, nailed it. Yeah, put me on the spot. But uh, yeah, we got it. So yeah, thank you very much, guys, and we'll see you on the, uh, the next, next Bye. show. Bye. See you later. Bye. -bye. <laughs> F Reality is assemble. <laughs> 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 Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Bye.